Welcome to this tutorial on how to make the electric power glove effect. All the plugins you'll need for this effect are in the description, so without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. Here I have my footage in my composition. Find the spot where you want the effect to start. Duplicate your footage, call the top layer Glove Roto, and trim it for however long you want the effect to last. Double click on this layer, then select the Roto Brush tool. Use the Roto Brush to rotoscope the glove. Paint where you want the tool to keep, then hold Alt and paint where you don't want. It doesn't have to be a perfect Roto, just a rough outline of the glove. Once you have the Roto finished, go back into the original composition and disable the bottom layer for now. Then apply the Find Edges effect to the Glove Roto layer. Invert the effect, then apply a Levels effect. Use the Levels effect to crush the black and white until you get this outline only showing the fine details of the glove. If we turn back on our bottom layer, we can see the edges of the glove are now highlighted. Next, we take our work area and shorten it to only the time the effect is in action. Precompose the Glove Roto layer, being sure to select Move All Attributes. Inside this composition, add two new solids, a white one above the Glove Roto layer and a black one below. Apply a fractal noise effect onto the white layer. Up the contrast to about 700, then alt-click the stopwatch beside Evolution to write an expression. Write time times 1000 as the expression. This will allow the fractal noise to evolve over time. Set the fractal layer to multiply, then go back into the original composition. Next we want to apply the Null Light Factory Unmult effect. This effect can be downloaded through the link in the description. What this does is it turns the black pixels into transparent pixels, which will be useful for the upcoming step. Now, trim the composition to match the work area, then select the top layer and go to Layer, Auto Trace. Use the settings that I use here. This will take some time, but once it's done, you'll be left with a bunch of masks. If we disable the Glove Roto Comp, we can see now that we have the edges of the glove outlined with masks. Now we are going to add the Saber plugin to the Auto Trace layer. This plugin can be found from a link in the description. Go into the Customize Core section and change the core type to Layer Masks, then set the Alpha Mode to Mask Core. Set the Blend Mode of the layer to Add, and here is where you get to customize the effect to your liking. Right now it doesn't look great, but if we change the preset to something like Electric, we get a much different look. We can then tweak a bunch of the settings, such as the core size, glow distortion, or whatever we like. Because of what the Saber plugin is capable of, just by switching presets we can achieve many different looks. For example, we can change the preset to Hot, and instead of an electric glove, we could have a fiery glove. Also, if you look at some of the presets and you like the way they look, you can change the color of each of them to whatever you want. For the electric glove effect, I like to use the electric preset. Lower the core size a bit, set the end size to 0, set flicker intensity to 50% with mask randomization on, and glow distortion amount set to 15. Now, if I've messed around with the settings and I decide that I still don't like the look of the effect, I can go back into this pre-composed layer and tweak the fractal noise layer. Maybe I want it darker, maybe I want it to evolve faster, maybe I want more contrast or less contrast. For now I'm going to lower the contrast and the brightness. Once you've edited this, you can go back into your main comp and auto trace the layer again, then copy and paste the saber effect from your last auto trace to your edited one. That way you don't have to reapply all of your saber plugin settings. Right now I'm going to adjust my core size down a little bit. As an optional extra step, you can turn back on the Rotoglove Comp and apply the trap code Starglow effect. This is a paid plugin that comes with the trap code suite, link in the description. 
Set the first color map to electric and the second to spirit. Then lower the source opacity to 50% and adjust the streak length and boost light to your liking. Then set the layer to add. This step isn't required, but it can add some more detail to your flowing electricity. To animate on the Saber plugin, set a keyframe for the core size when you want the glove to fully activate, then set another keyframe of zero beforehand. You can also set keyframes for the opacity of the middle layer to animate it alongside the Saber. Now to really make the electricity pop, we can pre-compose all the layers except our original footage layer, and then add a glow effect to this layer. We can play with the radius and intensity until we get a glow that we like. Now, if you wanted the electricity effect to slowly activate, you could animate the brightness of the fractal noise layer, which would result in a gradual onset of electricity. For this clip though, I want it to activate instantly, with some force, and to show that force, we're going to make a displacement shockwave. So, pre-compose all of your layers and duplicate this composition. Next, make a white solid, and using the ellipse tool, hold Ctrl and Shift and drag from the center of the layer. Select this layer and hit M, then duplicate this mask. Set the second mask to subtract and lower the mask expansion until you get a ring. Feather both masks about 200 pixels, then center the layer around where the glove activates. Apply the fractal noise effect to this layer. Then find the moment when the glove is activated and scale down the ring. Move a couple frames forward and scale up the ring until it's no longer visible. Now trim the layer, then pre-compose it, being sure to move all attributes once again. Next, apply the displacement map effect to your middle layer. Choose your top layer as the displacement map layer, and set the horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance. Also, set the max of each to 50. Turn off the ring layer, and you can see now that the world gets distorted around the glove as it activates. If you want to make this effect a bit easier to see, you can turn back on your ring layer and set its opacity to around 15%. Right now I'm going to just adjust my glow a little bit. Now, to make the effect engulf the camera, it's pretty simple. Just make a new white solid, either in your main comp or in the comp with your effects. Mask out a simple explosion-y shape. Feather the mask by 100 pixels. Then keyframe the position and scale of the shape to engulf the camera. Duplicate it and apply a fractal noise effect to the bottom solid. Next, you'll want to apply VC Color Vibrance. The link to this free plugin is in the description. Change the color of the vibrance, then animate the opacity of both solids so they fade in over time, but make it so that the top solid fades in after the bottom one. Set both solids to add, and adjust the contrast of the fractal noise to your liking. And there you go, the flash engulfs the camera. Render this out, add some music and sound effects, and voila! There you have it, the finished electric glove effect. I've used many versions of this effect in many videos on my channel, and none of them have been quite the same, but using the concepts in this tutorial, you can do all sorts of cool effects. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.